Ooh, here's a name I can say from the Eradicator. Hello and welcome to this channel, everybody. This is the Eradicator, and today we are going to have a video about lore. That's right, and the reason for that is because we are going to have a Star Citizen live on Friday all about lore. And yesterday I actually shared with you guys the question that I posted on Spectrum regarding uh, this show that we're going to have on Friday. This is a question that you can check in the link below. It really definitely needs a little bit of help because this is a question I've had for years and so far no one has ever answered that question as CIG. So this is the chance of a lifetime, guys. And the question is the following. Most of the verse is in most of the verse is English speaking with some areas written in Chinese. I'm sure you guys must have seen them all over the place, right? Uh, will we find places where other languages and cultures are more prominent, like maybe French on Cassel or Japanese on the, in the center of system? A little bit like how various human cultures are distributed in Freelancer. I think that this would be absolutely awesome for those of you who did play Freelancer. Maybe you remember that if you go to Kuzari Space, this would be like the this was like the Japanese area and people were definitely Japanese looking, had Japanese accents. Unfortunately, no no one was actually speaking Japanese, but it was still heavily influenced by those culture. If you were going to Rhineland in Freelancer, people would have German accent, would look German, you know, the architecture would look German. So uh, I, I was wondering if this is something that we're going to have also in some of these areas in Star Citizen uh, that I'm going to show you guys after, by the way. Uh, and if we can, we could even go even further with voice acting, for example, maybe not NPCs uh, or the game interacted with us in foreign languages. Maybe not that far, but uh, would it be uh, possible to have maybe NPCs speaking in the foreign language together? Or to, or maybe would we have some areas, like instead of having a written exit, for example, we would have sortie in French. Uh, or um, uh, if we would have, for example, uh, at the bar, instead of listening, let's say an NPC wants to order a beer, you know, like in Kingdom Come Deliverance, for example, when an NPC wants to order a beer in, in, in Kingdom Come Deliverance, you would hear, a beer, please. Uh, <laughs> you know, that's not very immersive. So if we go to a place which is more German-speaking, for example, I would love to hear something like, uh, Ein Bier, bitte, uh, for, just, for, just uh, as an example. I think that this would really add so much more immersion. And this is what this question is all about. But now let's go uh, a little bit over... Uh, the lore a little bit. Let's go check out some of these systems where there might be some of some you know possible foreign languages. So let's check these out right here. Now the first candidate that we know of is of course planet Earth. This is the birthplace of the human civilization, and it has so far three confirmed landing zones that you all know of. There's New York, which obviously is going to be English speaking. There is also Moscow and Shanghai. Now we know that we have already some Russian inspired arm companies, you know, weapon companies that are going to come, I think, in, in 3.8, if I am correct. They definitely have Russian names. They even have Cyrillic alphabets on their logo. So this points us to believe that Russian is going to make an appearance in the game. I think that this would be awesome if people speak Russian or at least heard the, gym, the Russian accent. Uh, sorry for this if I don't mean to offend anyone. I actually lived in Moscow for quite some time, so... Uh, people really do speak like that a little bit. <laughs> uh, or the Shanghai accent, uh, a, a little bit, not a Shanghai, but the Chinese accent, since we also have Shanghai as a, as a landing zone. Uh, people are going to speak Chinese. We know that there is Chinese in the verse already. We can see Chinese all over the place. When you play Star Marine, you can see Chinese on Area 18. So it would be awesome if people actually do speak Chinese or at least look like Chinese people. Chinese people already make up for, I think if I am correct, uh, uh, not the quarter, but like a, a sixth of the population uh, of Earth right now. So it's really a huge part of the population already. I would, it would be a surprise if they also, uh, you know, their descendants in the 30th century don't make up for a big part of the population as well. That would make sense. Um, then there's the fourth landing zone. We don't know where it is going to be, but it is expected to be maybe uh, Cologne, simply because uh, if we look at this picture that we have here, it definitely does look like the Cologne Cathedral. So maybe Cologne is going to be the fourth landing zone, but we actually 
don't know. It would be fun, you know, if this is like the, the spaceport that is located around Europe. They haven't said uh, what it is so far. Anyway, uh, the next place that I think could be uh, a candidate for multi-languages could be Mars. Uh, still uh, in the solar system, but we are so far away from having the solar system, which is really unfortunate. But uh, we know that Sol has its own uh, dialect as well. For example, one of the star systems of uh, that is uh, that was located uh, that is in, in the verse is called Calis, and the lore says that Calis is actually means means beloved in a, a Martian dialect. So I'm not even sure if they are also going to invent dialect uh, for some of the human settlements. That would also be quite interesting, and it would only make sense since you know languages do evolve. But then I have only two candidates which actually are featured in my question. The first one is going to be, of course, uh, Kessel, which actually should never be pronounced Castle. If you pronounce this place Castle, uh, you are going to irritate the natives according to the lore here. So do say Kessel. Kessel is definitely, I mean, I'm a French speaker, so I can tell you that this is definitely how people would say that in French, which is why this makes me believe that this is going to be a French speaking city and we might have a some, you know, a, a French culture there or French speaking environment, which I would find very exciting. The next one is Saise, which is located in the Centauri system. It is a third planet of the Centauri system. And this is where you have uh, the city of uh, Fujin city, which definitely sounds Japanese. And apparently uh, it is also in the name Sai Saisei, it also does sound uh, Japanese. And it is where you have the, um, the headquarters of uh, MISC, uh, Misk, which, uh, <laughs> which, as you know, uh, has a also a very uh, Japanese uh, type of uh, Misk has a very Japanese, I would say, uh, Japan, um, a Japanese uh, name, as a sort sort of speak, uh, if uh, if if you know what it, because actually uh, Mink means uh, Musashi. Uh, Musashi Industrial and Starflight Concern. That's what I was uh, looking for. So definitely does sound very Japanese. It founded from Hato Electronics and Musashi Lifestyle Design Unit. I'm just reading the lore here. Uh, so that's why this leads me to believe that there might also be some Japanese. But right now, the, the, we only have, well, basically four languages confirmed in the verse. There's obviously English that we use. There's, going, there's obviously Chinese that we can see in the verse right now. Now, there's going to be French on Castle, which I hope uh, the devs are going to confirm. That's why I would like you guys to please upvote my question uh, on Spectrum so that maybe the devs can address that. And there's going to be Japanese uh, on the Saisei and hopefully Russian if we land on Moscow someday, <laughs> if we if one day Earth gets makes it into the game. Uh, but is there anything? I would love to see German, you know, some German areas. I would love to see some even Arabic areas, some 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 Spanish areas. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm a Celt. I would love to have a Celtic city eventually. Uh, so please tell me what you guys think about the idea of, you know, human space not being, you know, monocultural, not being monolinguistic. So far, we only have English. I think that would be so boring in the future if there's only one language. Sure, it would be very practical. But at the same time, I think that it would also remove uh, what makes it so interesting when you travel from one place to another and you don't necessarily understand everything. There's a sense of mystery, you know, a sense of, of exotism that I really really like when I hear different languages. Uh, please tell me what you guys think about this ID. Anyway, that's all for this video, guys. Uh, and now let's talk about the giveaways. Hey guys, thank you so much for sticking around. Now let's talk about this month's giveaways. And yes, I said giveaways and not giveaway because I've got not one, not two, but three giveaways. And first, I'd like to talk about the Patreon giveaways. This is something I started doing last, last month as a way to thank those wonderful people who are helping this channel on a monthly basis. This is my way to thank you and somehow give back for everything you are doing for me. By the way, by if you are considering helping this channel more, the link is in the description down below. And so this month, Patreons will actually have the chance to win a $10 gift card and a great cat PTV buggy. That's right, guys. Two giveaways for the Patreon this month. And, you know, as the <laughs> double the winners, double the fun, right? Also, 
uh, for the regular giveaway. I asked you guys, you know, in the community tab what you wanted. And, uh, well, you had the choice between another Ranger uh, LTI, an RSI Ursa Rover, a 2013 RSI Aurora LTI game package with Squadron 42 or a 50 dollar gift card and uh, there's been quite a lot of people who voted here over 206 votes and 42 percent of, of people who opted for the gift card so this month i am giving away money guys i am giving away a 50 dollar gift card that's right all you need to do to get a chance of winning is to subscribe to this channel and to comment to any star citizen related video the winner will be announced early october good luck to everybody I also wanted to thank the people who helped me getting this new PC. Your support helped me making continued content after my old PC blew up. And I cannot say how much I appreciate you guys. And that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys with the next video very soon. This is the Eradicator. I am signing out.